what were some of the things that you wish we would have been doing sooner? You know, I kind of know what your answer is going to be as well with, um, you see what I'm saying? Like if we could go back kind of knowing what we know now and you guys continue to compete afterwards and did change things, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe the structure of how you're waving, how much you're wearing gear, stuff like that, you know, to go, if, if we could, you know, go back into that time and say, here's the things that we should have done different. What would they be? Definitely be free squat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wear a lot more gear. Mm -hmm. Do it as a meet setting. Just like we did today. We come out here and squatted over here. Go to different gyms. Go to different atmospheres. Because all, all places that we actually are going to lift at is going to be different. Mm -hmm. So the walls, the height, thin, where you're looking on the wall, all that stuff matters in the big detail. Of the lighting. The platform. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if there's I, change, then it helps you. Right. I, think. I would say the biggest thing is diet, food. If I was to change one single thing, what would it change the whole game? None of us, I shouldn't have went from 165 to 230 pounds. It makes no sense. You were 230 pounds? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like. But what happens, though. I didn't know you got up to 230 How about pounds. Kenny? <laughs> no, no, no. Kenny's another. <laughs> yeah, that's his own joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 3 or 10. But then, so, so whatever I weigh I at my max, but then I come back down. Once I learned how to eat there at the end, I learned how to eat. I mean, I got down to 190 and no bench, or yep. bench over 500. Mm-hmm. Come on, well, I you know, if if I if I that's one big thing, the food. It would have been yeah. no more Cracker Barrel. I spent forty six thousand dollars at Cracker Barrel <laughs> in my <laughs> lifetime. You know what I mean? Because that's what we did. You know, that was just in ninety nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I agree with what Joe's saying. I physically got stronger at two twenty. Yes. Than I was ever at two seventy five. Yeah. I mean, even like raw numbers were still very competitive, mm -hmm. and I was fifty pounds lighter. And that was just change, you know, not eating as much crap, like doing some more, you know, physical uh, repair work. Mm -hmm. but I mean, I, we were we were measuring heads and bellies. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it's just so stupid. you know, and it was well, we, we, not at the time, man. At the no, time, I, I mean, no, if I hell, I did out, pretty good yeah. on those things. Yeah. It's the other things well, I didn't I could, do so good. I could win the head take yeah, down no <laughs> <doubt>. every day. <laughs> I mean, Chuck didn't nickname me head for no reason. Yeah, like that, yeah. That was a prize. There was no crown that fit the head, but that was a prize. I mean, it was a race to see how big you could get. Yeah. I mean, it was like, well, come you, on. You equated the strength with weight gain. Right. Yes. And so you just kept pushing it up. Well, some dudes did, you know what yeah. I mean? And that was more heavyweight guys because Louie always preached, get bigger. Right. Matt Demo, get bigger, you'll be a world champion. Mm -hmm. Well, he did. Right. Donnie Thompson, get bigger, you'll be stronger. Donnie right. did and big, but their mm -hmm. frames are huge. Right. Mm -hmm. So they had to catch up with it where our frames aren't that big. No. So we're getting out of our weight class. Yes. And I'm 275, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kenny's 275. It's just 275. He's like yeah, he's three, three, three ten. Yeah, uh, a two eighty three was the yeah. heaviest I ever stepped on yeah. a scale. How much? Right. Yeah, two eighty three, and that was after weigh-ins in Texas at the greatest bench in America. You look good too. I was, I was shapely. I mean, you look good, like a basketball. Big player. arms. Yeah. yeah. Well, I do remember there was a maybe it was Chicago again where Jesse Callum was talking to all of us basically in a. Well, he wasn't even being polite about it. He was just like, you're a bunch of fat fucking bloated yeah. pigs. You know, this, can't be, they, this can't be helping you. Right. And we're all, and I'm like, well, it is. You know, it's like, it, it, he's right. No, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, looking back, wrong. you know, he, he wasn't wrong, no. you know, especially because it was just pounding everything, yeah. man. It was, for me, it was how bloated can I get? Yeah. Yes. Yep. You know, then you, for leverage. Yeah. And I'm practicing, you know, like every Friday would be like the practice because I'd push it up because on Friday, as you said, you know, a lot of times we're working up. That gets lost in a lot of translations too, you know, where it's the, the eight sets of two or whatever it was. Right. Say, that was half the time. You know, that started off like that a lot of times and yeah. ended something else. Put a plate on. Yep. Dude, Always. say, I'll take a plate. Put another plate on. Mm -hmm. And next thing yeah. you know, you're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's competitive too. So you're yeah. not going to not take the plate. Right. You know, you're, you're going to have to. You don't want to miss because that's worse than not taking it. So it's a, it's a fucked up kind of balance yep. there. You got to figure that out and fake an injury or something. <laughs> you know, and, um, and not sit down. That was the other thing I remember was not sit down. You know, that was with the, the, during the squat, squat stuff, yeah. you know, you didn't sit the fuck down. You know, somebody did. It was we we're all on their ass about that. You know, lazy pieces of shit. You know, because mm -hmm. you actually you didn't have the time. Right. That was one of the things that I didn't like when we went from Demers. You guys went to Industrial Drive. It was way bigger. Yeah. Right. You think it's better, but it wasn't. 
you know, because when we were, that was so small, you'd have the groups, you know, so say Louie and I would be squatting and you and Chuck Todd are running, whatever, you know, somebody's changing the plates, changing the box and so forth. We go over to the other place and then when they're done squatting, they're fucking gone. Yeah. You know, they're doing reverse hypers and shit. And you're like, yeah. no, wait a minute, you know, 60 foot away. Yeah. From I got to, I got to change my own fucking box. That, that, you miss that yeah. back and forth. The, team. That, that tempo, Big you know, team. the, the yeah. momentum the team thing. The team and it, thing means a lot. It drove me fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, but you think about it. When we was on Dimmerist, I mean, even if two people were squatting, everyone was within literally oh, yes. a 10 by 10 box. Yeah, and I think that's what happened. When it, that box got bigger, yep. you know, it made it easier. You know, I don't know how much of that was a culture change or, you know, it could yeah, be that know. too. You know, but it, that was problem, you know, because yeah. I could never jive. I think a lot of the you foundation know? left, though, shortly after it left there. So that, that those fundamentals... I just remember the the crew before us, you know, we would come in to help them. Then when we would squat, then the crew after us would come in and spot and it would just be a trade off. And then you yeah. were done. You mm -hmm. know? So yeah. you helped out twice while you did yours. So. Yeah. It was a little different, too, because the um, if, if you did try to call somebody out, you know, to to work you know, on the set, it, they weren't doing it. You know, some of the guys that when we moved over to the you weren't like I said, you guys weren't yeah. there, but when we went over the chuck would know what I'm talking about. You'd move over to that other place and you you'd start and they, they didn't want to do it. And you're like, Well, fuck. You know, I, I guess I still will, but you kinda you, nobody there's nobody talking shit. You know, there's there's nobody pushing it. You gotta now you gotta rely hundred percent on yourself, which was fine, you know, but it's a lot better, you know, if you're worried that, you know, his ass is gonna end up doing two hundred pounds more and your goal is to fucking not have it be two hundred pounds more you know, whatever it's going to be, but then you're the only one, you know, it was a big change. Well, when, when they went over there, didn't they start in one space and then expand into a second space? I wasn't there for that. They did. That's what I, I thought. I, wasn't, I, I, was, I stopped in and visited one yeah. time and like maybe two times. And that's why I realized like the place they're in still right now. Yeah. 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 There's, well, it, it still is. It's two walls. It's right. two, two, two openings. Yeah. yeah. So it's an opening. But they still, when they moved over there, there was only in one of those. There was right? only so one at the very beginning. Then right. They expanded okay. it. Louis just started getting more equipment, more sure. equipment, more equipment. Yeah, because now it's, it's probably, what, 4,000-ish square feet. I mean, it's pretty good size. Probably mm. about half of this. It might be. I mean, if you take both sides and combine it, it might be the same as this. Maybe. I mean, I was just over there last week. So maybe. A little smaller. I mean, it's still... Far it, cry from what we were used to. Well, you know what? When mm -hmm. I walked into there the last week, it was... It was a lot smaller than I remembered, okay. right? Because I remember going from that small place, right? And then that, that place was like huge seemed, yeah. when we went over. It seemed to just giant. Then when I walked in there the other day, I'm like, this small. Right. You know, it, it, it's not that small. I mean, it, it wasn't what I thought I remembered. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Which fucks with your head a little bit because you don't know what do you remember and not remember. Yeah, I'm almost, in a way, I'm almost glad I didn't go there. Yeah. But it was, it was because to me... It, Regardless of when you left our 800 square feet, like to me, that's what you said. That's the West side I remember. So when you came through the door, like you were greeted by the side of the power rack, the bench power rack, right? You could barely get through the door because dumbbells were on the floor. Like to me, that was the whole point of the gym. Mm -hmm. Your little table, you know, where you could throw your beepers on. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm not lying. You are not lying. <laughs> yep. That's the same. That, yeah, you're right. That's the same table where we kept the tissues for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was right next to the beeper yeah, box. Right. I put them right next to the, yeah. Mm -hmm. 